week 52, day 6, the final day of reading the Bible in one year. I am so excited to have finished this journey alongside you this uh, this year, and I look forward to the journey that we have in front of us in the coming year. But today, let's focus on the last of our reading from Revelation chapters 19 through 22. Let's see, yeah, four short, uh, four short chapters. Here we see the promise of what is to come, the joys that we have to look forward to, the fact that Christ is indeed coming again, and the reign that he will have will constitute the glorious end of the story of the Bible, uh, which God will write on our future. God will bring the story to a close so that we can then move on to the next chapter of living in the light and the truth and the way that God always meant us to live from the beginning. And so in order for that to happen, God recreates the heavens and the earth and walks again with God's people. If you remember, God's greatest joy, God's greatest desire was to have relationship with God's people. And we see that restored and come to fruition here. The marriage of the lamb to his bride, Christ and the marriage of the church. This is a marriage in which we understand Christ is the uh, head of the household. Like Christ is the one who calls us and redeems us and brings us into the family of God. And then ultimately we see that the story ends with a focus on the new creation in the new Jerusalem. It's a time where the beauty and wonder and perfection of Eden is restored once more. The fall that happened by Adam and Eve taking for the fruit from the tree of the good, a knowledge of good and evil is reversed. And the dwelling place of God is again with God's people. The final words are words that all of us should remember and praise as we think about all that God has done for us despite our own efforts. And that is indeed, Amen. Come, Lord Jesus.